Well, good day, mate. Rob Rogers here from the University of Maryland, and we are back with Medical Education Video Series Part 2. So this is a series I put together, and what we're going to do is over the coming months to years, put together um, a bunch of videos that essentially tour the internet and uh, show us interesting websites, educational sites, educational technologies. We'll interview people. And so this is part two in a series that I think is going to be very, very successful. Now, last video was about life in the fast lane.com, which is a phenomenal website. And so every week or every other week or so, I'll pick a site or a tool. And this week's example, we're going to talk about Prezi, which is a different way of giving presentations and have some fun with things in medical education. So this week, we are going to talk about Prezi. Now, most of you have given a PowerPoint presentation. A lot of you use Apple's Keynote, which is a uh, just a fancier form of PowerPoint. But quite frankly, I'm getting a little tired of using slides. And so this is something I wanted to try for myself to see what it was like. Now, as you can see here on the screen, this is the Prezi website. Prezi is just another way of presenting material. But in fact, that's what you're doing, the same thing as PowerPoint and Keynote. You're simply presenting your ideas. A good presentation, as Gar Reynolds has said before, is you, what you say, not necessarily what's on your slides or what the audience can see. So this is not by any means the end-all be-all of presentation tools, but it's very, very cool. Now, here's the Prezi website, and I'm going to give you a little tour of what Prezi is first. So let's go to my Prezi's. That's P-R-E-Z-I. And what I'm going to do is click on new Prezi. So Prezi is just the word for PowerPoint. So you're basically making a new PowerPoint. So Mike Cadigan is a nerd. That's the title. And um, description, I don't know, some kind of description. You can join this website uh, for different price uh, pricing patterns. And if you have... Uh, if you belong to a university or have an email that is associated or affiliated with a university, you can get a pretty good discount. So I'm going to click on blank Prezi, start editing. Okay, so what you're looking at is the difference between Prezi and PowerPoint and Keynote is that now you've got this canvas. Everything you see right here is essentially where you put all of your words, all of your ideas, all of your pictures, all of your videos, and then you put them together. Okay, so what I'm going to do is click Mike, then over here I'm going to click is, over here I'm going to click A, over here big nerd. Now you could say, well, that's pretty nice. That's something my two year old could do. But again, this is essentially three, four, five slides. What I'm going to do is the cool thing is you click path, then I click Mike, and I click is A big nerd. Okay, then I back out of path. Path allows you to, to establish the series, how you're going to put the slides together. Then I click play. Okay, so this is my intro slide. You can put a picture or title slide, whatever you want to put in there. Go to the next one. And then I have Mike is now you wouldn't want to do this with this much motion. But this just gives you an idea that you're zooming in and around the canvas. That canvas is an infinite space where you can put your ideas, a big nerd. So I go back to my canvas. I can zoom in and out by using this tool here, right? And so I can go on and on and on. This is just a big canvas where you can put your ideas. Now I could pick frame and put, for example, a circle around Mike, right? So when I show uh, the presentation again, it would have that in a circle. The cool thing about this is you can put that in the center and then click on the object, right? And click bigger or smaller just with clicking. Then I can change the font, I can change the color and so forth. And then for example here, I could put in a different type of frame there and then I can click out of that and go to play. And then this time when I do it, I'm gonna get these things framed. Now, since I cl clicked on the word to zoom in on, it doesn't click on the frame that I put around it. So what you can do with 
Prezi is when I go back to path, I can actually click on the frame and make that an object. Okay, now that's this there's a huge learning curve that goes around goes along with learning Prezi. So now when I play Prezi, uh, I go around again, this word this word simply represents what you might have on one slide. And then I can end by going to the frame. So I clicked on this shape. So now the shape comes up instead of zooming in on the word. So I'll back out of that. Now let me just show you what I did with a Prezi presentation, okay? So I'm gonna show you a presentation that I put together for medical students that I'm giving in just a couple of days. Today's date is February 14th, I believe it is. Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day, by the way. So here's a presentation I put together. Here is the the whole presentation. This is all of my PowerPoint slides, essentially. So all of my ideas, all of my pictures, everything right here on this slide. So I'm gonna open that up. The first slide would be, in this case, a video. So I, I'm not gonna click on the video, but it's a video. I go to the next slide. So as you can see, when you click and, and go through your presentation, you're zooming around that canvas that I talked about. You can set up your things to be anywhere on this canvas. You can zoom in and out. Now here's one slide, but then I can make this another slide. So you can zoom in on one slide, have a smaller object on that slide, zoom in on that and emphasize that point. Go around to the other part of that slide, there's another slide. Here's a slide and I'm zooming around and given my presentation like this. Now, the one downside of Prezi that I can see is that if you have the, the I don't wanna say older person, but quite frankly, as you get older in age, you don't like a lot of motion. And the criticism has been that this is nothing more than PowerPoint or Keynote with a bunch of motion. And, you know, it's kind of hard to argue that, but, but you can really make these very, very nice without too much motion. So this is, is what you're looking at right now is essentially a slide, right? But it's been placed on this canvas and linked to other slides and you can move around to different slides. So I'm just going to go through a couple. You can put in some arrows and make some pretty, uh, some pretty cool transitions and then uh, zoom in there and then zoom in here. So it's just a way of putting everything that you used to do in PowerPoint, putting it all on this canvas, mixing it up and then deciding on how you're going to piece it together. Okay, so let me just click on an older Prezi. Here's a Prezi I have where I put together some information on uh, medical student education. So I'm gonna open this Prezi. Now I'm gonna edit Prezi. Okay, so this goes in the mode where you can actually edit it. Now the cool thing is you can do all of this online, keep it all on the website, or you can get a desktop version of Prezi and take it around with you like you would for PowerPoint, giving it meetings and things like that. So what you're looking at right here is the canvas. All of these ideas and everything you see here has been placed on this huge infinite canvas. I've just put it down uh, here and what you see are a bunch of brackets that I can set up to zoom in on a certain bracket. Now, I'm not sure what I have right here. So here's the presentation this is the whole presentation, all of it. So then when I give the first slide, I'm gonna zoom in to this. This is our patient, Mr. Okay, now my next slide happens to be this. Now there's a lot of motion. This is just a presentation I played around with a little bit. A Lot of motion, a lot of flying around. It's gonna make a lot of people puke. But all of these things were included on the canvas that I showed you. So you can be very creative with how you give it, uh, a presentation like this. This is a lot of motion, way too much motion. And I, I'm, I'm really a beginner at this, um, but I just wanted to introduce people to this uh, concept, to Prezi. It's very, very cool if you do it the right way. So I'm gonna back out of this and just show you the canvas once again, just to give you an idea. So back out to the canvas. Now I'm gonna click on the button that's called Path. Whoa lot of numbers. So as you can see at the bottom of the screen, this tells you the order the slides will come in or the order that the brackets will come in. So I can bracket off anything and make that one slide that fits the entire screen. Lots of things here. I can change around. I can drag this and make this a number. 
uh, and then there. Now it's a transition. So you can erase all of them. You can go down here and say, you know what? I don't like that, that transition. I don't like the order that was in. So I'm going to get rid of it by clicking the X. I don't like that one either. I'm going to get rid of that one. I don't like that either. So then you can go back. Get, you can get rid of all of your transitions, start over, and figure out the way that you want to proceed with your presentation. So this is the canvas. Again, the cool thing is I can click on this. You get the zebra icon. Actually, let me go back out of path. You click on this. You get the zebra icon. I can make that bigger. I can make that smaller. And I can rotate it. I can take this. There it is in the center. I can rotate the whole thing. I can click on this. Uh, and I, I would actually have to zoom in to do that. But I can click on this. There it is. I can turn that one. You can turn all of these things where they... It, they, there's a natural flow to it as you give the presentation, but you have to be careful because you can have a lot of motion. So I wanted to introduce the concept of Prezi. I've been playing around with it for uh, about a week or so. The, my first rendition of a Prezi presentation was terrible. It was just a bunch of flying around and, and I, I wanted to vomit. So you have to be careful how to do it. If you go to the Prezi website, they will give you a bunch of different tutorials on how to get started, going to the next level, how to build transitions, and then they give you a bunch of really, really cool examples. These are my examples. These are not really, really cool, <laughs> but um, let's see if this has... Somewhere on here, there's a place where you can actually... Um, look at people's uploaded. So here's business and conferences. Here's education. Now, here's a really cool one I wanted to show you. So this picture right here is just a picture of something at a, a carnival or Ferris wheel. Now, let me just pull it up here for you. So the first slide is just a picture of, of, a, of a large crowd. Now they zoom out and now they're on, now they're on the, the wheels of a Ferris wheel. So they go from slide to slide, they back in and out, video. So there you go. So you could put literally a slide here, a slide here, a slide here, and go all the way around it and be really, really creative with how you give your talk. This website has a dozen uh, or so, probably more than, more than that, examples of really great Prezi presentations to give you an idea how you can take an object and make your presentation around it. Here's a really cool one that's centered around a guitar. So the presentation comes up and it's just a picture of a guitar with a bunch of words around it. But when you click on play, you'll notice that the presentation is built into the guitar. So here's your first slide. Again, a lot of motion. Here's your second slide. Here's another slide. Here's another slide. When I, was, when I say slide, I mean what's showing on your, on your screen. Another slide. I zoom into this one, that's another slide, and it's all built in to that one area. You can look here on the O, and there's a slide that's built into that. Right there, boom, one slide. Very cool, so you can be really creative with it. So this is Prezi. It's not going to fix everything. In fact, it might actually make motion uh, more, it, ma it makes it more fun to make motion. So be careful and have someone look at it and say, eh, I don't know, that's a lot of motion. But it's not going to fix PowerPoint or Keynote. It's a different way of presenting. I thought I would introduce it as a concept because a lot of people are really hot on this right now. And if you do it the right way, it's a very, very cool presentation tool. So this is the second video in medical, medical education. We're going to have a lot more coming in the future weeks. I don't think I have on my iPad here a list of things that we're going to cover, but we're going to cover a lot of really cool stuff in medical education. And I, I hope you really like the video series. If you have any feedback for me and if you want certain topics covered in medical education, just send me an email to robrogersmd at gmail.com. I will catch you next time. Be safe. Go teach others, and I'll see you next time. L